Hello everyone, my name is Dog, and welcome to another episode of Victoria 3. Um, I'm having to be considerably more quiet than normal. It's currently 3am in the morning and I don't want to wake up the neighbours. However, we are going to be continuing with our Ottoman Empire run. I will know I was messing about with Sweden a little bit in and off. Not a video run. Uh, another note to be made is there was an update uh, in between me last recording and uh, well this this recording so I don't know how much that will have affected stuff uh, another thing I wanted to check actually is note that Denmark is the same colour as the North German Federation uh, I checked Denmark does actually have a different colour at the start of the game so I'm going to assume that Denmark is actually a vassal or something similar yeah, they're a dominion of the North German Federation. Interesting. Right, well, um, we have a shit ton of money. We have managed to claw back quite a few loyalists. There are still quite a few radicals spread out over the place. Uh, we need some new materials. So. I'm gonna stop importing steel. I could do some glass. That should do. Alright, how are we doing in terms of balance here? So clothes is still the biggest issue. So we're going to import some of that. So we are getting into the tail end of the game here. I need additional convoys. Okay, let's get some ports down I think. I am in the process of significantly expanding a few facets here. We'll get there. Um, so we still do have a monarch, but we have, for the most part, reformed other areas of the government. Um, actually, third rank-wise, I'd like to get ahead of France. We actually have a higher standard of living than France does. We're not so good uh, compared to Great Britain, though. As a great power, we're ahead of Russia and Austria that have more pops. See, I would like to bring Greece under our control. But I suspect you still have your alliance. Yeah, Egypt and Russia. So instead, uh, so we are reputable. We don't actually have any infamy at the minute. I might. Think about improving the military here. Bicycle messengers. Sure. No, I don't think I want to mess too much. Rubber would be a problem in general. Yeah, I'm going to need to think about. More than anything here, just um, working on our military again a little bit. Steam donkey for various mines. Sure. So if I go to buildings, rural. 
So Steam Donkey reduces... The amount of labor is required. How many uh, unemployed pops have we actually got? About 81,000, but mainly in regions which are causing us problems. I think for society, we're gonna go for... Okay, cameras for some additional prestige. Uh, in terms of this journal... Path to liberalism. Let's think about this. Uh, we've currently got landed voting. Let's go census suffrage. Which has quite a high chance uh, of passing to begin with. I could actually go steam trawlers, but I don't think we're gonna do that just yet. Need so many tools. But we are able to actually start that import route straight away. So. Looks like there's just a bunch of rebellions breaking out. And Great Britain taking some land as for normal. Is what am I going to focus on next? Some additional prestige is nice. Uh, elevators? Yeah, I'll go elevators. Cancel some of these routes. So, how many ports do I actually have at the minute? some point but I'm also going to put a few ports down in various places we need clippers all right we can do that I think that might be part of the reason why uh, need to put some railways down as well so clippers imports I'm going to import from Russia. Right, one of the things we're going to do here is... Uh, you're already subsidised. North German Federation continues to expand a little bit. Uh, looks like the local governors are trying to preserve landed voting, but we've made our decision now. Uh, in terms of military... Also, we're pretty much maxed out on gold again here. Uh, our GDP is falling behind a bit again. Wait, no, it's not. It's just Great King is easily up there. Okay. Uh, market access in Northern Thrace and Thessaly. Uh, 
Need to get some railways down. Out of interest, can you re increase? No, you can't. Okay. Uh, an airship mooring post. That'd be pretty cool. I think I'm going to go for Zeppelins. Uh, so we are going to fully reduce taxes. Gonna up government wages. And we are going to... Probably not mess with health just a minute. We have private health insurance. Still need more convoys. Let's import from Austria. And I think we might up the shipyards here. We're going to go back to reinforce ships. You're the number two shipyards in the world. Let's upgrade that then. Uh, other side of the fence. Uh, Ten percent interest group political strength for the trade unions. Fine by me. So many clothes. <laughs> uh, some porcelain would be nice. I'm going to import some from Russia. Uh, furniture would also be good. Okay, census suffrage. <clears throat> that does have an impact on. Authority, so I need to uh, go to budget. We're going to remove the consumption tax on services. Uh, glass is still expensive. We're the number two producer worldwide. We're nowhere near the Brits. Uh, also, freedom of quality and brotherhood. Plus 50 popularity, sounds good. Oh, oh, that's a big war. Radical Spain and Spain. Queen Isabel de Bourbon versus King Jose de Savoia. United States of America seems to have actually conquered a bit of land, I think. I don't think they had this at one point. Indian territory still exists. Mexico had another colonial bear, which is no longer there. Interesting. Uh, I'm actually going to expand furniture manufacturers in northern France. Alright, how am I doing for ports now? Overall, fairly well, I would say. Uh, freedom of trade. Freedom of thought. I need right of assembly or protected speech.
which is a few that's going to piss off I think I might go right of assembly. Thirty-seven percent chance. I hope it passes. Uh, we do have an election upcoming, and it looks like the Free Trade Party is going to be winning. produce 855 power I need more power plants because if I want to up you uh, to well keep you on electric sewing machines we just need more power free trade party some money can be spared Actually, I would like to put you. Yeah, I need better engine types, so I need electric railways. Still need more convoys. I think it is time to just continue expanding. A couple of industries here. Maybe some glass works. How are we doing for turmoil here? Uh, actually fairly nice overall. I think I might get another level of railway here as well. Spanish people migrating to Kentucky. The local governors and the Sunni, uh, Sunni Lama have been marginalised. Everyone voted for the Free Trade Party. I wonder if that's a bug or not. Are there any laws? I might go for Free Trade. Nearly at 1900, we're getting very much into the late stage of this game now. The naval base in Eastern Thrace wants ironclads. I think I'm just going to go back to Man of War. Actually, no. We'll go monitors. And we'll import some. Well, maybe not. I'm not actually able to do that. Questionable practices. Lose 10% bureaucracy, you get two interest group approval. We'll spend some money to help them out. I'm 
Let's get rid of the unproductive trade routes. Uh, market access is pretty low over here. Free speech pamphlets, plus 10%. We'll take the risk and get a plus 20% chance, and that does succeed. Right, the new glassworks is already, uh, well, basically built now. Uh, let's see. I need fertilizer. expand our fertilizer uh, production areas. We're gonna get some more tea plantation downs in, uh, down in cars. I think I might get a power plant down here in car. things I do want to do is go through and check. So maybe I should do vacuum. Yeah, I need oil for that though. I think steel mills can take an open half process. Shipyards can stick to wooden ships for now. I'm going to put munition points to uh, that sort of trade. Covered markets. I don't think I have a serve, uh, service problem at the minute, so I'm not going to do that. Arts Academy. Yeah, we'll improve that. Uh, okay. What about for rural? Is there any uh, production increases we can do? Electric fences. Hmm. Put steam donkeys down in our coal mines. I think I'm going to improve more, uh, improve or expand upon our motor industries just because uh, it's needed for continued modernization. In terms of institutions, I think I'm going to leave that as is, I'm not going to change it. We're at nearly 50% literacy, which is considerably increased from the start again. We are maxing out our construction again here. And although we're in a deficit, it's a deficit we can easily afford. Um, our reserves are huge. I have not been spending them so far. Okay. So, I think we might get some more coal mines down. Because we do need coal. I 
expand the textile mills and the tooling areas. We can afford to because we uh, we have a lot of spare populace in Eastern Thrace who are unemployed. Now we got a right of assembly. Okay. Ottoman Empire is one of the safest places to explore our ideas. And I think we'll go research unimpeded. Uh, we have some trade routes we're going to get rid of. We do need more convoys. Erzurum needs another railway. We're missing basically ships. We'll import some steamers. I don't think ironclads. Yeah, it's nowhere. Rubber is also not great. Man of Wars. Yeah, I think map was raw. Actually, going to continue expansion of the engine factory. We ju we just need it. We need engines everywhere. France wants a trade agreement. Sure. God, uh, my balance is going off the board. It's yeah. That that's quite. Quite big. Okay, this rapid industrial expansion is useful. Uh, I think I'm going to get rid of a decree, though. Specifically from Western Trace. Just to put us in surplus for authority again. And I think the next one we go for is free trade. Which uh, the trade unions, the royal folk, and local governors aren't happy about. But uh, I do want to. Ooh, opium addiction. That's not good. Uh, I want to get freedom of trade done here, and I want to. So I need to get total separation and multiculturalism next, I think. We have a few wars to pass. We have a few wars to pass. Um, I think for iron mines, we'll go steam donkey. Same with sulfur mines. That will do with all the mines. We will fully transition over. You need rail transportation. And there we go. Pump jacks. All the plantations get automatic irrigation. I'm intrigued. Okay, so we need even more engines. Might open another small uh, motor industries over here. Uh, glass is expensive. Everything else seems fine at the minute. Ish. Okay. No. 
frees up some bureaucracy. Right, we're gonna up the health system, I suppose. Uh, I guess. We'll import a tiny amount of coal. Italy is actually past us. Our standard of living is actually higher than Italy. And we got more pops. And our GDP is much higher. How have you got higher than us then? I do not know. I'm not going to stop this in productive trade route. We need the tools. I'm actually okay for tools right now. The chemical plants in northern Serbia need it. I need more. I need more electricity, man. So I think I might put a power plant down here. I guess the next thing we do is... Furniture factory down in Transjordan. That's free trade. So we're in a lot less money now. Okay, we need to fix this. Government wages is easily the biggest one. We don't need anywhere near as much. So I think one of the ways we do this is... Unfortunately, we have to get rid of some of our emergency um, funding. Right? And we'll add a consumption tax for services. Uh, they want us to restore protectionism. Okay, it's the huge um, temporary national expenses now. And there is a revolution brewing. Zeppelin's next. Could enact uh, a war to try and keep him happy. In fact, I might need to do that in order to avoid a revolution here. that migration controls. That takes the edge off. Uh, 
I need more convoys again. Need to activate dynamite. Okay, uh, buildings. I think for chemical plants, we're going to go for LeBlanc process. Now we'll go ammonia soda process, uh, and then I need dynamite. Actually, not allowed to subsidize. Need more trade routes. Trade agreement with France is at risk of breaking. That's fine. Uh, unfulfilled political movement demands. And they want protectionism back. So I just need to do multiculturalism next. Soldiers, I'm sure I can't go wrong. So, states and turmoil we can ignore, mana wars and ironclads we can ignore. Well, that will be up for this episode, everyone. Once again, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this series, and I'll see you in the next one.